Let's get my thing together here. Uh, put this on. Hey, this is a. See? No, you can't see it, don't matter. You know, New York City sweatshirt. Uh, belongs to my sister. I had an embarrassing thing happen yesterday. Yesterday morning. You see, I wake up you know, early then, you know. I get out to do, you know, do my little dance walk exercise in the morning. I usually go up about six o'clock. I'll go up about six o'clock. And uh, right now, it's like, what, five, five twenty-four. That's early now. But this is because I'm going to start a little early because, uh, well, it's just the northern hemisphere. So the sun comes up, comes up earlier. Uh, and I want to get a little earlier because I leave on Thursday morning. So come Thursday morning, I really want to get the thing in before I have to leave in the morning. You know? Anyway, I'm putting my shoes on now. Just forgive me. Uh, my, uh, oh man, what's this? My, uh, this is what I wear. This was gifted to me by my brother, Buddy, in New York, who I stay with in New York. See this? He calls sketches, but here's what it is. It's a steel toe. Hey. Oh man, gotta have some kind of defense. Mess with me on the on my dance walk, man. I come down, I get down a negativa, give my hobbit a high, you know, boom, shin, boy it down, get the knock that, knocked out. Okay, 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 it's a little saturated. Don't don't forget all that stuff. <laughs> don't forget that. No, 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 stop that. Uh, so I gotta put these on. They're really good. Ooh, they're really good. I love these shoes. I gotta go the fit when I go see but, Buddy, you know, this weekend, I be in New York for another week before I go to St. Louis. And uh got to thank him profusely again, because this is really fantastic. Anyway, so yesterday morning, I get out there at regular time, and I'm doing my thing, you know. It's just like walking part that I had introduced my sister to, and he, her and a friend does that, you know, like that. Anyway, so I'm up there, you know, when I get to, when I get to the place I go to, there's always a guy there that early, you know, and he's, you know, he's, he's doing a little, he's doing a you know what I mean? It's like that. right before I go, goes to work, I guess, because nobody's around. And so when I come there, the well, first thing I do is I usually, no matter who's there, I usually pick up some kind of trash because, you know, it's like a like a park that these guys these guys go to, you know? Not these, I mean, it's, it's like a high basketball thing there. So, you know, the guys there, you know, they, they just leave their, their litter around. So in my space, I just try every once in a while. I pick up, every day I pick up a couple of things, you know, if it's obvious, and I put it in the trash. And uh, that's what I do, you know? Anyway, so I was dead blissfully in my thing, you know, and, you know, and I see these two women coming from Fort Far, and, you know, they wave, and I wave back, they wave enthusiastically, I wave back, you know, get back to my thing, because I'm concentrating. Now, you have to understand something about early morning, and, and like, like I call it jogger culture, because, like, when I was in, uh, when I was in, um, living in Delray Beach, Florida, I used to get up very early in the morning, at about 4.30, and I go down through through the beach, you know, through town, go to the beach, uh, go to the beach for, for my um, a morning exercise and prayer and meditation, because it's the first light. I love first light. Um, and but there was an interesting thing because the people there, they oh, there was like a jogger culture, and everybody would be friendly like that. So I think I'm done. So later on, in the in the day, I got back. I told myself, I said, yeah, I had a good workout here. There's a couple of sisters. Well, then they gave me a wave and I told her about the whole jogger culture thing. And we went on. And later on in the day, she says to me, and I realized, and she didn't say that at the time, that the two people that were doing this thing, it was my sister and her friend who, who you know, do this three, um, you know, this three mile, whatever. They, they time it. They got stuff on the, on the you know, the, 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 I don't know, the smart thing tells them they've done whatever they've done. And so some of them. Anyway, so, uh, so I said, oh, blah, blah. and then I realized it was them. Well, she realized it was them. Very embarrassing. Not even recognize my own sister. <sighs> but she had a little thing out of her because she said, oh, you didn't recognize because I'm, she always does this, you know, because I'm losing weight, you know what I mean? Da, da, da. She gets this, she's on this whole thing. Actually, it's very good. It's very good. She thinks she was like, I don't know, she said something like she was like 190, well, close to 200. Now she's down to like 170 in like a few months. She's doing really, really well, you know? So anyway, uh, I don't my so that's it. So, so I'm uh, so so, so anyway. So so I'm we was uh, shopping yesterday. We was at the 
the uh, the little Patriot store by the VA here. That was a whole other trip. Boy, they're locked down. Yeah, whoa, you got to go. <laughs> My sister actually works there, but she didn't have an ID, and they wouldn't let her in. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I want that. They wouldn't let her in, right? Because you have to have some sort of passcode to, to go to the door. That was strange. She said, okay. She said, she, she, so she went around, you know, got it another way, you know, even though everything was locked up, but another, some other people let her in, you know, I guess they knew or something like that. I'm getting my pills together here in a moment. Anyway, so uh, that was, that was, that was good. So at the VA, at, at that store, I was like, to thing, but one of the things I got, they had a, you know, I wanted some bandanas for my head, right? So the bandanas I had got down here, well, this was from up in New York, but the other bandanas, if you look at this, you see, you see how that side like that, right? Now that, back in the day, back in the uh, 60s, uh, when we would, when you got uh, uh, material for your dashikis, you know, for your African tops, right? One of the things you look at was if they had that, if they had that, that means it was imitation. You have to have, you have to have, this is all cotton, you see that? On both sides, is it? You know, it's, it, it's not printed on, you know what I mean? So this is, I got from the VA, is authentic cotton, whatever have you. And, uh, well, that's it, I gotta get more real cotton, because I don't want to put thick stuff with me. Let me see what else pills I got here, I got that pill. Um, my blood pressure pill here. I have the lowest dose possible, you know, my, my uh, actual, hey, what's all these things falling on uh, My goal is to really bring it down so much and have a lifestyle so much that I know that I no longer need the pills. But we'll see how that works. Okay, got those. Oh, one pill you should know about. Take my water. Gotta have your water. Don't be like D.L. Ugly. I'm sorry, this trips me out. <laughs> During the damn pandemic, they tell you to drink water. And it's summertime. And this boy is dehydrated doing the show and falls out on stage. Funny. <laughs> Funny to me. Uh, vitamin. Uh, what's this? Um, vitamin D. Yeah, vitamin D. Not here. Here's a trick with vitamin D. You have to take calcium pills, which are vitamin D. Okay? You say, well, why, brother? Look it up on the internet and find out. Man, you can't, you know, you don't want answers. You know, what, what are you, a bunch of millenniums or something like that? You, you got to have your head your, They would know to look up on the internet. No, do your own research. I say, do this. I'm no doctor. I'm just a dude, you know? So don't listen to me. Search for yourself. Mm. So anyway, at the, also at the, this is interesting because the thing is locked up. But at the, the cashier at the at, at this uh, Patriot store, whatever the heck it's called, or the V something S or something like that, um, uh, the guy behind the counter, he, he was a, he's like the he, you know they hire as a civilian employee. Maybe he's going to school for business something like that, and he was. Um, moaning about, you know, some people getting this stimulus and they stay home. He's got to work, you know, but so they make more money, whatever, you know. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but we had a good time there. Um, so anyway, then we get back. I don't, I don't wear my, when I'm jobs, when I'm doing this more work, I don't wear my, my things for that. Um, so anyway, so, so I thought that was quite interesting. But here's what did. When we got back, my sister had already done her census, right? But I think she did the written form. Anyway, so she went back online. She went online, and I made sure she changed her thing. You know, could you have a black or African American, black or Af black and whatever it is, the category, or those category. But under it, they have a slot. You know, a little thing that you can write in. You could be specific about what kind of black you are, what kind of African American you are. I guess most people just jump over that. But we, but um, but uh, I had her type in. You know, uh, American descendants or descendants of slavery. That's the D-O-S, but American said you have to write it out. That's what we put. I'm, just, I'm gonna, another video I'll tell you how to really do that. Okay, so so that was James. Got somebody else on board. Um, everybody, fine, I'm gonna I say, yo, let's, let's, let's do this. Use that, bring them to the thing, to the computer, whatever, have it, make them do it. Okay, so that went well. So I had a really good day yesterday. I uh, went to sleep as usual. I, had to really, I always sleep well. Um, I wanna show you something here. Though. Uh, uh, this is Tuesday morning. Now, uh, later on in the morning, there's going to be a program that comes on the internet, and it's called the um, here, it's called the uh, Counter Racist Code uh, with Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. So it's a uh, co-hosted or engineer, whatever you want to call it, 
shepherded by Mr. Bobby. But see, I don't know if you can see. Uh, you can see this. But this is the website here. It's, it's cool. The website is uh, uh, www.producejustice.com. Produce justice.com you like this see that you see that over there i don't know if you all can see it but it doesn't matter but here's a, so it's a beauty it's this is i, I heard web they had a website before but this is a far superior website this website is even better than the ados website i'm sorry did i sacrilege <laughs> anyway but look like he deals with the nine areas of of um, of, of activity you all can't see i just read it too uh it's uh, economics education entertainment labor law politics religion sex and war counter war. Now, when Mr. Fuller is on the, the the thing, he never talks about it. He tells you you don't talk about war and counter war. Okay, he talks about any other area. You have to get the book and you look at and you make up your own your own mind how you're going to wage this war counter war against the the, the system of racist uh, white supremacy. Okay, so even even I say I'll give you an example. The, the latest one day when um. Uh, when when the young the young the teenagers around the world you know would do the TikTok and the K-pop whatever have you they basically cut all the tick they 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 get the cousins online for for Trump's you know for you know the, the dump you know the Donald the dump you know, they cat you know his rally right in in in, in Texas wherever it was and uh, and say all these tickets so he thought there was going to be a million people coming so they got all this you know they got all the security outside they get the they had to set up the out the uh, what do you call that the the, the overflow you know uh, media you know what screens whatever for this crowd they was expecting and you know, that somebody said they had somebody in texas said they were there was he had so they had so many police like for blocks you know security think of how much money the donald the dump cost that money could have went into some emergency stuff for you know for for this little and uh, pandemic that we have and so that boy was mad dejected you should see you should see you you'll, you'll figure it out so, right so that's what I'm saying. So, so those young people actually, you know, did something against, uh, uh, you know, racist white supremacy all over the world. Even they did the people in Japan. They, they did this thing. So, so that's why I say you don't tell somebody else what do you fight your own fight the way you want to do it. If you want to get on TV and, and do this like that, make sure your brand is out there and, and they come to the show or that show. That's how you doing it. Nobody. Okay, just uh, let me leave them alone. I don't text celebrities. If you want to do, you know, what I usually do, I get people's comments. I go to, to sites, you know, that, that I know is whatever, and, and I, I type in stuff, and I always include, you know, hashtag ADOS, right, as well as, a, and then so we all, I put www.producejustice.com, which is what this site is, right? Those are my two concerns. In other words, ADOS is my political head, and, and the code is how I behave, okay? Got it? Okay, great. Uh, so... So this, it, 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 anyway, his, Mr. Fuller comes on today, and it's a good site. They have, uh, where's this thing at? Uh, well, trust me, there's a little thing that they tell you it comes on, on 9 to 11, whatever whatever the thing is there. So let me leave that alone. I don't even like that. Okay, I'm finishing up. I'm, I'm almost ready, almost ready. Got my thing, got my thing, got my thing, no glasses like that. Oh, so that's it. Um, uh, I want you all. Oh, I, I'm, oh, that's why I'm messing around on, on Instagram. I just started Instagram, but I'm just doing the one minute thing. I'm not doing no long things like that. Just every morning I do the, hey, y'all up at six o'clock, we go exercise, and, that. and I keep on doing that all through, I guess, you know, through New York, and then I got to go to St. Louis, I'll change, and I'll, maybe I'll do the long form, figure out whatever, whatever, whatever. This thing is skewed, man. Come on now. Uh, I like it being skewed. Okay. Uh, so, hey, so that's it. What am I talking about? Um, oh, wait, let me put this up here, wait, one more time. But I'm just saying, everybody has their way of dealing with this. And uh, your way should be effective, right? And you you shouldn't be trying to pimp this movement either. And a lot of pimp, when I say pimp, you know what I mean. You know, the people that jump out in front of things, they got to remain a presence. You know, I was a civil, I was a civil rights worker back in the 60s. And I have a little bumpy thing to think. And let me speak for the people right now. Or you're some journalist. Let me speak for the, or you're some writer that... <laughs> That that used to do uh, like really good stuff, and now they, now they get you in front of the white, you know, the white like to beat the press people like that, and you get starstruck. Oh, I'm here with so and so. Oh, this is my opportunity to be a really big sp voice for the black people, <laughs> for the young people, for the. No, this is not your time. This is not your movement. You want it to be your movement? Get on the ground and do your movement on the ground stuff. 
It's just a little message from me. T from the Patterson's taking the trenches to prayer. But letting you know what I only suspect. As we get out and make sure our body is ready for what has to be done.